Hey YouTube. Um, so I wanted to make this video to talk about magical names. Um, or craft name, or whatever you really want to call it. Um, the name that you associate most with your spirituality. Um, so first of all, how you can find this name. Um, there are lots of different ways. And some people prefer just to pick a name. Um, and if you do it this way, which I kind of did it this way, but at the same time I didn't. Um, if you pick a name, the name you pick needs to resonate and make sense to you. Um, you need to write it over and over again and make sure you like the way it looks. You need to say it over and over again and make sure you like the way it sounds. And you need to think about it for a really long time. It can't be just a name that you think sounds pretty, like Unicorn Flower Moon Fairy. Yeah, no. Just, just no. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that to yourself. I mean, seriously, people. If you wrote that down over and over again and looked at it on the piece of paper, would it make you happy? Would that name mean anything to you? Would it mean anything to your spirit? Would it just... I mean, if you're one of those always happy people and those words just make you even more happy, then fine. But no one's going to take you seriously. Um, sorry to say that, but they're really not going to take you seriously. Um, there are also people who believe that your craft name chooses you. Um, and I think I fall into that category. Um, I kind of chose my name, but at the same time, it more of chose me. Um, my name, my craft name is Thalia Onyx, the name of my YouTube channel, and I'm not afraid to share that with people because, yes, names are very, very powerful things, and yes, sharing your name with people does give them some range of power over you, but I also feel like in hiding that name, you're hiding who you are, and hiding who I am is not something that I wish to hide from people. Um, so, how do I chose my name to that? Um, my name, I was kind of thinking of the onyx part I picked for myself. I was like, onyx, I love black onyx. It's my favorite crystal to work with, my favorite crystal ever. Um, my high school class ring is black onyx. Um, it's just... I love the energy and everything that it gives off, and I love what it stands for, the black being protection and it, just getting rid of all the negative energy. Um, and But my first part of my name, the Thalia part, I didn't really choose that. That kind of chose me. Um, I was looking up, kind of trying to pick it for myself. Um, I was just looking up a whole bunch of like ancient names and things like that and Thalia called to me but I didn't pick it I was like no nah, I don't like that so I was just kind of onyx for a while I didn't have anything to go with it and then I had a dream and um it was I'm, I didn't know at the time I had no idea but it was once I looked it up it was a Greek the Greek muse uh, one of the Greek muses um they were all there all nine of them, but there was one specifically, and she was talking to me, and she was like, I'm your best friend, don't you remember me? I'm part of you, I always will be, and then she she just kept saying these funny things, the funniest things I've ever heard, I don't remember now, because it's been quite a while, but it was the funniest things I've ever heard, so I went the next day, and I was looking up the Greek muses, and at the time, during the dream, I didn't know who they were the Greek muses, and I was just confused. But the next day I was looking them up and I was like, there were nine people in my dream, there are nine Greek muses, and then I started looking up what each one was. And the Greek muse of comedy is Thalia, and I was like, whoa, <laughs> holy crap. So, um, in a way, the Thalia kind of picked me. Um, and there's one other way you can pick your magical name, but I really don't recommend it unless you're really into the whole numbers thing. You can numerologically pick your name. Um, you can make sure that the name that you choose has the same 
think it's called life number as your given name or if you don't like the attributes that are associated with your given name's life number, you can make sure that the name you choose has the life number of attributes that you do like. Um, and the idea that like attracts like kind of thing that if you picked one that wasn't the same as yours, you would begin to bring those energies into your life. Which I guess is fundamentally true, but I just, I, numbers, fine. I love math. Math is simple to me, but numerology, I just don't get how numbers, um, just numbers, like numbers as symbols, sure, what the number three means in general, sure, but when you put all the math together and you're like, looking for patterns, and it's just, it's too much, and I just, it doesn't apply to anything that I practice, so it has never really appealed to me. Um, so, picking your own magical name, if you haven't done it yet, is going to be a very, very intense process, and if it's not, you probably did something wrong, or either you're really lucky and got off easy, um, it's going to take thought, it's going to take time, and in some cases it'll take research. Um, and if you're into the numerology thing, it's going to take math. So, I feel like a lot of pagans, a lot of Wiccans, when they go into picking their craft name, and some people don't pick one at all, but when they go into picking it, they expect it to be this really fast process where the first name that pops in their head will be the name that they use forever. And if you do it that way, most likely it won't be the name you use forever and you'll end up changing it like every six months. And then that name really has really no meaning to you whatsoever. So I advise that when you pick your magical name, you spend some time thinking about it. And I think the best advice I can give, and I have already said it, I'll say again, say it over and over again. If it doesn't roll off the tongue easily, it's not for you. I mean, there are some words that just naturally don't roll off the tongue. And for some people it's worse than others. So, if it doesn't, then that name isn't right for you. Don't pick a name that's in a foreign language that you don't even know what it means. It Just don't do that. So, I guess that's all for this video. Um, feel free to leave comments below about how you found your magical name or how you're planning to find your magical name if you haven't or if you had one in the past and you changed it because you didn't like it anymore. Um, things like that. And also, you can do that in video responses. I love video responses. I watch all of them. Um, I feel as though it's a good way to get support for YouTube and a good way to get knowledge out there that is not as easy to get out there in some cases. So, that's all. Much love and bless me. Mwah.